It's kind of an awful notion to think that there could be a silver lining to a second wave of the coronavirus pandemic striking here in Canada. Nobody wants a second wave, nothing good can come of it. But I guess if something good could come of it, it could possibly be that a second wave is going to make Prime Minister Justin Trudeau perhaps drop some of the more outlandish schemes it seems he has planned for the throne speech that will be unveiled in the days ahead. And well, at least that would be good news. So Justin Trudeau saying back a number of weeks ago and hinting through a number of statements to the press, claims he was making, anonymous sources stepping forward from the Liberal government to warn us about all this wild stuff that he has planned for us, that he wants a more ambitious throne speech than he's ever done before, which seems to be code word for going further left wing, more and more progressive, the phrase they like to use, perhaps more wealth redistribution, more government in your life, more government spending, and of course, JT's favorite, more green scheme initiatives. He really loves that agenda. So he was going to barrel forward with it. And there were liberal anonymous sources stepping forward, telling all sorts of media outlets, watch out, we are worried about this. This is really going to be something. And a lot in the business community stepping forward, sounding the alarm on it. Former Bank of Canada Governor David Dodge stepping forward and, and even using a curse word to describe the financial situation we are in. And he's a straight shooter who, who normally does not use language like that. So a lot of people thought, wow, okay, this guy means business. Is Trudeau still going to do all of this crazy stuff now? Now that we see a second wave coming in, a lot of people are not interested in this magical green agenda that Trudeau is going to do. They're just interested in making it through the pandemic, hoping there isn't further elements of lockdowns, hoping their families stay safe and healthy, and that the economy remains intact. Hoping that it does not tank any further. Is Trudeau going to continue to see opportunity in crisis and ram through his agenda, or is he going to realize you've actually got a situation unfolding on the ground that needs to be dealt with. Now, to be partially fair, back when it seems like he conceived this uh, magic green scheme throne speech, this was in the summer when the coronavirus, we had it a lot more under control and people were able to talk about other things. Of course, the We Charity scandal, the whole reason he prorogued Parliament in the first place to sort of distract from that, that was dominating the front pages. The pandemic was being, being managed. Things weren't too bad. Now, they're getting a little further, I won't say out of control, but uh, out of reach and in ways that are frustrating and concerning a whole lot of people. So we want to get this under control. We don't want to have rising cases all across Canada. Maybe though it means Trudeau's going to put a timeout on this very ambitious throne speech, and thankfully we will be spared some of the worst of his agenda.